Hello guys, welcome to Field Skills. I'm David Fields, your host, and today we're out at the camp we've been working on this uh, fall and winter. Uh, and uh, just going to do some, uh, as we would say in the South, piddling around camp today and do a few improvements, uh, things, work on our uh, some utensils and some uh, tools to help us around our kitchen and fireplace that we did built in the last video. Uh, make some improvements to the shelter and I just make life a little more comfortable here at the uh, at the camp so uh, give me a second to change the uh, camera around and uh, we'll get started with some of our uh, camp improvements today here on field skills first thing I thought we'd do today guys just to get camp started uh, and get it a little more comfortable get a fire going maybe uh, might like to have a cup of coffee here in just a little while, so uh, let's get us a fire going. I've got some uh, cedar bark from the tree I told you about the other day, the three or four right around here. So easy to go get that as my fire tender to get these fires going. Picked up some sticks and we'll just keep a, a small cook fire uh, going during the day as we work here around camp. Got a little feather stick I made up, uh, found off of that uh, cedar tree, and we'll just lay in some uh, small stuff, get this fire going. Alright guys, one of the things I want to do today is uh, make some hangers, uh, pot hangers for our tripod that we built last time to go over uh, our fire. Uh, make some hangers to hang some things inside the shelter and so what I did I just went out through the woods and found some various fork sticks uh, on limbs and all and uh, cut them off and then we're going to get here uh, modify them and make them into some very useful hangers uh, for around the camp so uh, let's uh, let me uh, figure out which ones we want to start with and then we'll uh, We'll start making some pot hangers, some uh, a gun rack I want to make for in the shelter. Uh, I always bring my uh, single shot shotgun with me in case a squirrel, rabbit, even carry a slug or two in case a deer comes along while I'm out here at the camp around the shelter. So I want to be able to hang it up under the shelter where it's uh, protected from the elements if it's raining and out of the way uh, in a safe position. Alright guys, went out to get some wood for the fire, and uh, of course I had mentioned south of me here is a nice little pine thicket, uh, and there's always dead pines falling over, so I went out there to uh, get some wood and uh, get some dead fall through there. Anyway, when I was out there, I saw this tree falling over, and as you can see, this whole thing is knotty, and uh, Leaning up, it had fallen over and kind of wedged between some trees. So I cut it down, and what is it? Fat wood. Smells like turpentine and all, but all of these knots are going to have fat wood in it. Uh, pine pitch, real resinous material. And uh, so I cut it off above and below it, brought it back to camp so I can use it. Just take my hatchet, peel off some and you're ready to start a fire. So a good resource I found there. And I just wanted to show it to you because when you're out and uh, just roaming through the woods, keep your eyes open for the resources that are available. I'll have plenty of fire starting material right here uh, in camp now uh, for a good little while to use it. Doesn't take much of this to, uh, to get a good fire going and hold a flame long enough to get your tender 
and uh, kindling going. So uh, I'm going to leave it down here by my fireplace for now. May move it inside the shelter to keep it uh, dry, but a uh, good resource, good find for me out there. So uh, let's talk about what we were going to work on. Smoky over here. Anyway, way I went to the woods and uh, wanted to make some, uh, as I said earlier, some pot uh, holders, pot hooks, uh, make a uh, gun rack to go in the shelter to keep my gun up off the ground and out of the weather. So I went through the woods just keeping my eyes open and finding some good forks and, uh, and small saplings and trees that I can make some hooks out of and found several of them, just cut it off, found this odd shape and I think I'm gonna make this as part of my gun rack lay my gun in here we'll set another hook there uh, mount it up inside on the uh, ridge pole of the shelter and give me a place to uh, set my gun in there I don't know what I may do with that back side of it we'll look but uh you know just finding little things and, and seeing what can I make out of that to make my life easier in camp so uh, let's get started. Let's make some uh, pot hooks. And looking at this right here, these various hooks with a little. I tell you what, I think I can make. Use this one to make a short get it up higher off of the uh, fire so use that one that one can make one a little different that's a little big I end up using this one and I can make a longer one so I can make three different lengths uh, for my pot hooks uh, hangers to go over the fire over our tripod so uh, let's get to work on these see what we can do I think we'll uh, take that. Knock that one off. Smooth that up a little bit. Now let's see. We're not going to need much on this end. That should hang. And that's squared off. Now what I want to do is uh, just kind of bevel this edge a little bit uh, just so it's smooth doesn't want to uh, feather out through that and uh, nothing sharp on it uh, don't want to stick yourself but uh, just kind of smooth those up around the edges make them look a little neater if nothing else now what you want to do when you're hanging these things like that and the way it's going to hold it I want to put my notch for my bale on the uh, pot on the back side where it kind of leans it makes it want to pull this way and strength so if your fork is here I want my notch inside the fork down here so uh what I'm going to do, take my knife, Go about two-thirds of the way in at an angle we want to have a, a catch on that and then come back here and just shave that down knock out those shavings through there
Now what we have, let me grab a pot here. Now see, we've got pot hanger. This is going to hang, let me grab a demonstration right here. And that's going to hang across our thing. So if we do three of these, to go with our uh, rotisserie, our pot hanger on our tripod, we're going to do one about this height. And looking there, that's going to that would be a warming uh, hook. Then we'll do two more longer to get the pots where we could hang the pots down through there. Plus we have our toggle and hanger there, so we would have two things to get it into the fire. Uh, to cook, heat, or heat on. But these come in real handy just to have there. When you need them, you can grab them off, set them down, pick them up, put them back on your fire. Works real handy, but just simple pot hooks there. So there's the first one. And let's see what we can do with number two. I'm going to lay that aside. And, uh, so I wanted to work on this uh, gun rack I was telling you about. And uh, what I think I may do is use my little Baco saw here. Now what we're going to do is that's going to be, we're going to attach that to our ridge pole, this piece, and these are going to be our where our gun lays in here like this. So I don't need much. I'm going to cut these off kind of flush with each other. Let me make a mark. and just saw these to us. Okay, what I want to show you up here close is I've got my hooks. They're going to be like this. Our gun will lay in. But what I did is I came in here and just with my uh, saw cut a little groove just to start it a, a saw cut there so that when I use my bank line it will get in there and really grip and tie to it. And I did it on, this is the piece in, that's going against the ridge pole up in my shelter. And this is the piece that's going in the ridge pole. So I've got those cut. And what they're going to do is we're going to be able to mount them there and tie a bank line here around and really lock that down. And I think what I'm going to do is come on the back side and flatten this a little bit, flatten it over here a little bit, and then I may flatten my ridge pole where I'm going to, when I measure it and decide where these are going to mount. Get that where you can see there a little bit. Mount like that, and, uh, and then tie that, lash that good and tight there. All right, gonna show you the finished product, then we'll take the gun down and show you how we mounted that but uh as you can see hook those on the ridge pole up there it makes a nice area where I can put my gun up out of the way if it's raining out here it's gonna stay dry uh, and good shape but it's easy to get to so let me uh, take the gun down here 
set it over here out of the way for a second and show you what we did. As you can see, we just lashed it right here around the back and through about three lashings each way uh, and uh, makes that good and tight and then on the double one same way and uh, simple easy gun rack for this shelter so uh, and actually if there were more people I could probably move one gun this way and actually mount two guns in the area so uh uh, let's show you how easy, let's show you how easy it is to put our gun up. Boom, and boom. Another little quick project I want to do here. As you can see, I've got just a quick uh, stick hole that I've cut and what I'm wanting to make is a sawhorse here and I've just got this laying on the ground at an angle as you can see and I'm going to do it on this tree over here I may end up having to cut that privet hedge back out of the way but this way I can lay longer wood in and be able to work on it saw it and this is going to come in handy with our next video which is building the bed in our shelter we're going to start on and uh, so this uh, is something that uh, cutting firewood if I bring longer pieces in want to uh, cut it down into manageable pieces I can use this uh, for those longer pieces and cut them up so uh, just a quick uh, sawhorse we're going to build and not much to it take a little bank line and we'll just lash it to this tree. So, simple sawhorse. Just thinking about it, if I didn't need it for a sawhorse, uh, piece right here, piece of tarp, or lay it over, and it could become a shelter to keep firewood in. Uh, clean this material out here. Uh, simple lean to, be right here by the fireplace, and uh, store kindling and firewood in there. Uh, as you're coming in and out working around camp collecting firewood be able to put it in a dry place where you would always have uh, dry firewood so multiple uses could be for this but if you need uh, a place to cut some uh, longer uh, work with some longer wood and need to get it up off the ground then you could work here be able to saw very easily uh, like I said, we may need to uh, create us an adjustable uh, support for the middle so as we cut down the longer stuff, we can continue cutting and sliding that uh, X through there back and forth. Uh, but once you get it down past this, it's not a whole lot of problem to uh, work with that wood. Could also use our uh, tripod over our fire. Uh, for when it gets down to the shorter stuff, but this is just a good way place to uh, throw it in because I'm gonna be cutting some about eight foot pieces and uh, and trying to notch them out for our bed we're gonna build for the shelter, so this will come in handy and uh, uh, in doing that notching, getting those eight foot pieces in there that we won't really be cutting off, but we will be doing some processing 
and woodworking on those. So uh, another little project complete. All right, just quickly showing how those are working, heating up some water there over the fire and using that pot hook, I'm using the longer one there to get that water, that stainless steel canteen down near the fire heat, of course I'm using demonstrating there with the shorter one holding small enamel bush pot there so uh, there's the grate back there and you can see it's real uh, makes cooking easy and uh, it can take them on and off the fire uh, so simple so uh, you know there'll always be a little projects you can do around your camp to make it better and this is just a couple we did today of course then we've got our sawhorse over there uh, that we uh, built and going to use next time for making our bed and then up under our shelter we've got our gun rack uh, to keep my gun up out of the place and then next video I'm gonna build my bed back in there a raised bed with a spring mattress uh, and we'll show you how we'll do that next time uh, so uh, let me uh, change the camera and we'll uh, close this video out today here on field skills well guys gonna wrap this little video segments up I guess of just uh, as we said in the beginning, just piddling around the camp. And uh, anytime you're out in the woods and you've got a camp, you know, you're constantly trying to improve it and make it better. And that's what uh, I want to do in this series of videos is just show the process and the, uh, the trial and error and the learning experience of uh, building the, the camp out here in the woods. Uh, next time, as I said, we're going to build us a... Uh, a raised bed with a spring mattress in it uh, and uh, so I hope you'll tune in uh, that for that video that'll be coming in a week or so but uh, as I end all my videos uh, I want to mention the quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson and he said life is not a destination life is a journey so come journey with us to self-reliance here in the great outdoors. I'm David Fields, and you've been watching Field Skills. Mm -hmm.